update. Hydroponic versus self-watering containers update. In the middle you can see the trial plants that I planted before. And we've got um, eight big beef and four brandy boy hybrids and if you compare it to the last video they're pretty tall as you can see they're taller than, than the five gallon bucket and I wanted to show not only that uh, how they're growing but I want to do a bucket comparison first we'll do the self-watering container and it is a five gallon bucket that you get from any big box store and I put holes all the way in it all the way around it for the purpose of drainage and air pruning with containers container soil a lot of times as the soil breaks down it becomes soggy and it can uh, starve the roots or drown the roots starve of, of air so this is an attempt I learned a couple years ago in 2012 that if you do this it helps quite a bit with plant growth and in the bottom I've got one hole for the neck cup and that's going to sit down in my gutter reservoir so that's the bucket that's going to be used for self-watering containers and this is the bucket I'm using for the hydroponic and um, if you look at the first buckets I got these from a guy in bauxite and I cut the top off and then I painted them and what I ended up doing was I took the handle and I cut the handle and I reattached it with some zip ties here so I'd have something to grab a hold of. It ends up working very well. And in the bottom, you can see on either side the holes. There's five on each side. And when this sits, this will also sit on top of the hybrid system I talked about before, which is basically a rain gutter. And when it drains, go into the gutter and then return to the return where it'll get um, resupplied back to the plant from the top and then from the bottom back and then so forth back and forth so that's the hydroponic bucket versus the self-watering container bucket and a little update on the growth of the plants it won't be long and I will set them in the greenhouse.